Tim Akin, wine writer. What is your opinion about this event with Italian wines? I think this is a fantastic thing for Italian wines. Um, it's unusual in that the people judging it are both Italians and also foreigners, outsiders. So American judge, an English judge and a French judge. And I think it's the collaboration between the different nationalities and the different um, sort of understandings of wine that makes it so special. I think it's great that it's supported by so many of the best producers. And I hope you agree, it's only my opinion, that the wines that we've chosen are some of the very best that Italy has to offer. How are Italian wines uh, well popular in your country? Uh, Italian wines are very popular in my country. I mean, they're, they're probably the second or the third most popular country in, uh, in terms of exporting to the UK. Um, a lot of the wines we see in England, sadly, are, are at the cheaper end of the market. So I think it's very important to promote these higher-end wines to show people that Italy doesn't just make everyday wines. Italy makes some of the great, great, great wines of the world. Which is the age of the people that drink Italian wines in the UK? The age. Uh, I think the age of the people who drink Italian wines varies enormously. There are a lot of women drinking Italian wines, but most of them tend to be drinking two styles, Pinot Grigio and Prosecco. So Pinot Grigio and Prosecco tends to appeal to quite a young female audience. If you look at more of the, the red wines, classic red wines, things like Barolo, Barbaresco, Valpolicella, uh, Chianti, all of those would be more likely to appeal to men and particularly to slightly older men, I would say.